preach the gospel simple, full, and free. Why? Because it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. And all of your getting, you ought to get an understanding. Just keep on preaching, for it is the power of God unto salvation. God said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Preach the gospel, simple, full, and free. For I heard the Bible declare, there is a charge to keep. For a time is coming when they will not endure sound doctrine. A time is coming when they will turn to themselves with itching ears. You just preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Keep on preaching for it is the power of God unto salvation. Don't take down now. Preach the gospel. Simple, full, and free. Your work cannot fail. Your study cannot fail. Your witness cannot be destroyed. I wish somebody heard me prophesy right here. Your shouting, your dancing, and your tongue speaking cannot be ceased. Preach the word until your enemy is silent. I know the Lord will come through for you. How do you know? Well, I'm glad you asked because the Bible is claims that every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that he is the Lord. You just keep on preaching until your enemy is silent. I hear you in the spirit realm saying, Morrison, I am not a preacher. I never get the mic in my hand. I don't know how to put together a three-point sermon. I know I don't know how to didactively or inductively study the scripture. Never been to school. Haven't earned or achieved any status. Have never been licensed or sanctioned. What will you say to me? I'll say the same thing. You just preach until you your enemy is silent. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. You preach on anyhow, which leads me to argument number two. Let your life preach and use words only when necessary. Yes, yes, yes. Argument number two. Let your life preach and use words only when necessary. Why, preacher? Because our text tells us, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. Just let your life preach. Don't worry about what's going on or what is not going on around you. You walk circumspectively, redeeming the time at hand. You can't stand around doing nothing. As we travel from faith to faith, allow the righteousness of God to invade every aspect of your life. Your home, your work, your ministry, your attitude. You want to let the righteousness of God invade your mouth, your heart, your head. You just allow God to use your life to preach. Therein is the righteousness of God revealed. Keep on preaching until your enemy is silent. I don't hear nobody right from here, but keep on preaching until your enemy shuts his or her mouth. Let your life preach. Don't you quit. Don't you get worried. Don't you tire. Don't stop. Don't get scared now. You just trust in God. How do I let my life preach? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Psalms the one answers this question quite concisely. So I don't need to fathom any words. Just turn over to Psalms 1 and you'll find out that your life will preach like this. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible declares, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law Shall be 
be your servant. Preach until your enemy is silent. If they don't want to come, you just preach on anyhow. Women's ministry, they don't want to be bothered, preach on anyhow. Men's ministry, they don't want to act right, preach on anyhow. If nobody else wants to go with God, you go with God. Preach on anyhow. Ushers, if you don't have, have a committee of 20 and you get down to one, you be the best usher in Zion that you know how to be. Preach on when the sermon is done, you go out in the street corner and act like you got some sense. Act like somebody taught you something. Act like you've heard the word and be a light unto, unto a dark place and light up the community. You preach on until your enemy is silent. Let them call you a holy robe. Let them call you a Jesus freak. Let them call you whatever they want to. You just preach on quiet. Until your enemy is silent. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Sing all ye land. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. You sing until your enemy is silent. If it gets down to four, call it the voices of praise quartet. If it gets down to three, you just be a trio. If it gets down to two, be a duo. And if you're to be one, just be a solo. But you sing until your Until your enemy is silent. Yeah. Preach. Until you silent your enemy. Psalms 1 further declares that the ungodly are not so. But I like the shaft which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of righteousness. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous. And listen to this. But the way of the ungodly shall perish. Preach until you silence your enemy. Preach the gospel. Simple, full, and free. Let your life preach and use words only when necessary. Is it possible to do that? Oh yes, my friends. Which leads me to point number three. Faith is the sermon and the text. Faith is the sermon and the text. I dare somebody, some certain somebody, who is listening to me right now, right this hour, I dare some certain young man or young woman to send your faith on a sign. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of God. It is the power of God unto salvation. There is is the righteousness of God revealed. And as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Faith is the sermon and the text. I'm almost through this early afternoon. So somebody find Chris Thomas and tell him to come on. I'm going to my seat in a moment. But let faith be your sermon and your text. You don't know what to say, just let your life Speak, live by faith, for we.